I'm Tanya Peterson with the Anxiety Shame Anxiety blog on HealthyPlace.com. Have you ever been really uncomfortable with the unknown, with something that's uncertain? Have you ever been so uncomfortable that you can feel your anxiety skyrocket? Sometimes this increasing anxiety because of not knowing what's going to come next is referred to as fear of the unknown. And if it's not fear, it's definitely an extreme discomfort or hatred of the unknown. It's also called uncertainty intolerance, where you just can't stand not knowing. No matter what it is, you want to know what is going to happen. And not being able to have that certainty is a huge source of anxiety for a lot of people. Because what happens with that that uncertainty, that not knowing, is there's nothing concrete to focus on and to deal with. And when we don't have that concrete, okay, this is going to happen and these are the steps I need to take to deal with it, well, without that, the imagination can just run wild and anxiety loves to take over the imagination and fill in our thoughts and our feelings with all sorts of worries and fears and what ifs and it it can just be paralyzing it can just shut us down making us just stop in our tracks not wanting to go forward because of that unknown so a way to deal with this is to give yourself something concrete to deal with. The unknown offers no solid thing. So create something solid to help you deal with it. And you can deal with this, do this in a couple of different ways. You can take the unknown and make it a little bit less unknown. You can create a little bit more certainty with it by looking at it in pieces. Up. You're not sure what's going to happen at a party, for example. This, this can be anything. I've just threw that out there as an example. But, and, and you can't. You can't know. But there are things that you can predict. Okay, the party starts at this time. That means, and it ends at this time. That means I can leave any time in between if I want to. I don't have to be certain about everything that's going to happen because I I can leave or I can stay. I have choices. Then I know this person that's going to be there or this person. I know the setting. Focus on small little bits of this big unknown situation that you do know. And it gives your mind something concrete to focus on so your anxiety isn't running away with your imagination. The other thing is to be concrete right here, right now, and it's called mindfulness. You pay attention. Okay, I I don't know what's going to go on here. I am very uncertain, and I don't like it, and it's causing me anxiety. So let's just let that be out there. Let's just let it float away, and I'm going to focus on my present moment and my sights. What do I see? What do I feel? What am I doing? I'm going to focus on my actions and that it doesn't solve the fact that there's an unknown, but it calms that anxiety because you've given it something concrete. So when anxiety is skyrocketing because you're just not sure of what's going to happen that's normal, give yourself something concrete to pull that anxiety back a little bit. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.